is going on everybody it's your boy stock market steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you will not regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i appreciate the support at the bottom of the screen you can see i have my uh youtuber uh gmail account and that's set up for you guys to contact me directly whether you want to just say hi or you got some information that you think can make a good story for me and my subscribers by all means, you can drop it off there, and we'll take it from there. Guys, listen, I want to tell you something today that is crazy. In fact, I'm going to show you something. Let me just clarify that. I want to show you something. And this has happened already. And a couple of people made a video about it, but not like how I do it. And uh, this gentleman, this happened in Chicago sometime in January. And it's the story of an off-duty female police officer that came out after hearing a disturbance or argument among some younger people. She comes out of the building and I guess she wants to settle the dispute. And one of the uh, assailants tries to take her gun. And with him trying to take the gun, he winds up getting shot in the process. And this is a little uh, lady. And I got to give her all the respect in the world. She don't take no crap. And she let this guy know what time it was. And he has to underestimate her. Now, before I show this video, which is on Long Crime TV, I'll give the uh, the uh, link to the uh, full video in the description, ah, description box. Now, I'm going to take a piece of, you know, the video from them and let you guys see it. Hopefully, I won't get dinged for it, but I mean, I don't see it anywhere else. But I mean, I really want you guys to understand when I tell you, when you do dirt, you get dirt. And this is the prime example of that. Check it out. Shocking video captures an off-duty police officer threatening to shoot a man seconds before pulling the trigger multiple times. The deadly shooting all caught on camera. I'm sorry. You got you got it happened on January 18th in Chicago. Just before 1 o'clock that afternoon, private surveillance video shows 39-year-old LaVon Smith arguing with a group of people. Eventually, an off-duty officer comes out of a building and attempts to stop the fighting. Most of the people run off, but Smith stays behind with the officer. When Smith appears to reach for the officer's gun, a struggle breaks out. The officer can then be heard saying she will shoot him. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see it? You gonna have to kill me then. Boom, oh, ow. I'm sorry, uh, guys, stupid stuff. And this is what I'm talking about. It's like, I think the man, that boy, and look how inconspicuous and like suspicious he looked. Like, he starts walking over to her, they're arguing over here. You know what I'm saying? And he come walking standby the whole time, he plotting, he looking at the right time to get the gun. He waiting for them, the, the two guys that was talking, to leave and like you go guys go look at the whole video because it's very telling he waiting for the argument to get over and then he's standing over there with her he noticed she got on slides and you know he he was bigger than her so i guess he figured he was going to grab the gun and run off and strong arm her now the thing is this you know that's a cop why would you even have a gumption to try to do that now they said this gentleman died later on died and I feel nothing for him. You know, I don't want to wish death on anybody. But I mean, cause and effect. We talk about it all the time, right, guys? Cause and effect. Because you do this, that happens. And such is life. And he gave his up for a stupid-ass gun. And, you know, 
make no mistake, it's a lot of gun violence in Chicago. And that's not the only place. But I mean, sometimes when stuff like this happens, you don't know what he could have did with that gun. It could have been somebody else's life that didn't even deserve it. So like I said, I'm, I feel nothing for him. And he was an idiot anyway. And I'm going to say something to this young lady. That's the kind of lady I like. Good for you, man. Them the kind I like, them, 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 them spunky ones. She tiny. Did you see what she told him? He must have said, let me see that gun. She said, boy, get out of here with this gun. I, I'll kill you. You heard him. You're going to have to kill me then because he thought he could strong arm her. She used that police training, that scorpion team training. <laughs> she shot the man barefoot. Did you see me? He said, you want to kill me. Did you hear what she said? Go back and listen. She said, oh, oh okay, watch this. Bye, out. Put the heat right in him. You heard him? Oh, he got on the ground. She shot him twice. I told you I'd shoot your stupid ass. Guys, I don't understand this, man. I don't understand it. It's like they have no plan. They just come and just out of desperation, just do something. You try to take something, you know, which I, I, I'm not down with thievery anyway. You don't, you're not supposed to touch nobody's shit that ain't yours. But the fact that he would try to, you know, he seems she's small. He took her as being a woman and being weak and short and he could overpower. You see how she kept his face off and all this other stuff? Good. 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 I love to see that. And I'm not saying love to see somebody get killed or something, but I love to see where people stand up for themselves and don't let themselves get victimized. I've always been like that. You know, and you see, you know, go watch go watch the full video in my description box, guys. Look how cool she was when she got on the phone and talked. Now this guy right here wound up losing his life in the hospital. And maybe it's a good thing. Because he would have lost his dignity in the street. You got shot by a two-foot woman. Barefoot. Bro, you can't talk trash to nobody. I'll punch you in your face. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. I seen what you did with the cop. You got shot in the ass by a barefoot woman that was like four feet tall. No. And she manhandled. You see how she manhandled his face? Get out of here and then gave it to him. Boom. He trying to overpower. I thought he was playing. It looked like he was playing the way he was. Oh, weird looking. I mean, but um, guys, that's very interesting, and it, it it's very sad at the same same time. You know, it, it's gun violence is a serious threat in America, especially to us as black folk. You know, Charleston White made a comment one time on one of his YouTube shorts, and he said. You listen to rap music and you listen to a lot of other stuff and it conditions black people to kill each other. He said when they talking rap music songs and stuff like that, when black people have guns, those bullets are for black faces. Those are not for no other race except black faces. And I feel that. A lot of what we do in our culture, guys, is killing us. And all you got to do is put a beat behind some of the stupidest, most demeaning of women lyrics or demeaning to us as a race of people. Put a nice beat behind it. We overlook all that bullshit. Long as we can snap our fingers and, 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 and pop that thing, that's all that matters. We need to wake up. Because a lot of the music we hear is very instrumental in the way we act and the culture that we create. Guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. You know? That girl, I'm in love with her. Call me officer. <laughs> As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.